So I've been playing around with getting Wayland working on this system. Um, most of the compositors I've tried basically have crashed and haven't worked at all. So I've tried Sway, Qtile Wayland, oh, Gnome Wayland. I haven't tried KDE as of yet, but there have only been a couple like select oh compositors that have worked. They're both based on WL roots, and so that's possibly why. But so obviously when you're looking at my system, the first thing is like I've got a NVIDIA graphics card, and then of course like Intel whatever. So of probably about the five compositors that I've tr basically tried, Wayland compositors, I've only been able to really get two to work. That would be River and Hyperland. So River, well, let Hyperland let. So Hyperland is kind of an i3 like one. So it uses workspaces in very much the same way as i3 or Sway, but it has a different configuration utility that it do uses. Um, it does use the standard O workspace. Oh, what is it? What's the word for it? You you kind of have to tell like give it a, give Waybar a slightly different configuration for the workspace module, but it will work with it. So they've got instructions on how to do it. But what Hyper is, Hyperland is it's a rewrite of Hyper, which is an Xorg window manager, but on Wayland. So it, it's one of those fancy oh window managers that has. Oh, what is it? Animations. I don't think the Xorg version has animations, but Hyperland has animations, and it's actually pretty cool. I haven't gotten OBS to work under, oh, on my system as of yet. I've been working on it, but it's been kind of tough. But I did get Hyperland working and stuff. So one thing weird with Hyperland that I noticed is I tried out some games. So KOTOR 2. Um, it reset the resolution on it, and the default configuration for Hyperland actually has rounded corners. So I think, is it the basic configuring? Border size. And it does do gaps as well. So if you're one of those people that likes your gaps, the default config, let me actually just... Slap that up. Where's the quick start? So we go to the quick start. And... That's not what we want. Example. Okay. So Hyper... The default configuration for it basically has gaps set up. The mouse sensitivity is dropped really low, which I found kind of weird. A few moments later... So the gaps are set up already in this default config that you can kind of go off of. Um, damage tracking lets you know like what the GPU is doing. Um, but yeah, I think. It seems to be something with like many compositors that they've got damage tracking to like help keep things in check and stable. So I haven't really looked into that too much. So it does have, like I said, it does have rounded corners. It does have a decent curve to it by default, which I find, found kind of funny because a lot of things end up, oh, rounding out like Steam's drop-down menus in the top bar and stuff like that. Oh, then you've got like your pseudo tile mode and things that way. And then here are your default keybinds and whatnot. So it has a number of workspaces you can define those custom um much like bspwm or oh i3 you can assign certain monitors certain workspaces to certain monitors and reserve it for certain monitors or outputs and that's done up here if you've got multiple outputs you can define that with another monitor setting just add another one and yeah and I think you can do the same thing with workspaces. You just assign multiple workspace ones and it'll work it out. Just like you see how it's like bind equals and whatever. So when you go through it, what's really interesting is I hadn't seen this like 
anyone do this before. Usually you put a plus between it, but it's under advanced configuring. Or wait, no, is it? Basic configuring, I think, actually. So when you are doing your modifier keys, which is that like second, that first value you see where you've got super, you can define it as all one word and it'll parse out that word together. So like it has here super shift, that's how you would define the um, super shift whatever key um, will do this one action. And it isn't like, it doesn't do cording or mode shifts at all. So that's interesting, but you can define your keys just the way you want it to. They've got very minimal key definitions so that you can define your own exec, whatever. So you can go through that. It, like I said, it has fancy animation. So it's like when I first like dragged Chromium over to the other monitor, I'm like, ooh, but yeah. So the next one that I've been playing with is River. And I think I'm leaning more towards River as the one I would want to use in like a more desktop configuration. Because for touchscreens, River doesn't seem to work too well like Sway does. But for a standard desktop one, it does. So River basically works a lot like DWM or Awesome where it has tags. And so you define tags, you go through, and it basically work, seems to work the exact same way. And River's actually the one where I've got more of the oh, configuration set up and auto exec what all. Um, I still have to work out some debus issues, which I think is my main problem in the first place with getting OBS worked out on my Arctic system, is the fact that for some reason it doesn't want to work, debus doesn't want to work, and I try and follow get it set up and it doesn't seem to work in it, but yeah. So it's got, and Waybar actually has a module for R River now that you can use, and it'll show you the, oh, stuff. You just have to style it and what all. Oh. But yeah, it is a somewhat dynamic tiled one, um, but basically what you do is it uses a separate, oh, layout program so by default it'll come with river tile which will basically do a master stack which is you know kind of like that except generally the master window has a larger screen real estate but you can define that in your layouts it's got a couple different oh what is it layout generators that you can use that it lists so if you go to the community layouts, you've got a few options here. And these let you actually define your own pretty easily. So you can run those instead of river tile. And that will define your layout and let you define other layouts and switch between them. The other thing, too, is that river is actually modal. Let me close this window out. So... With River being modal, you can actually, def in essence, do do some cording. So if I go into my config River in it, so much like BSPWM, it does take inspiration there. So it uses tags like DWM or Awesome, but then it takes oh BSPWM oh inspiration and uses river ctl to define keybinds and what all and configurations so you've got your standard stuff um it comes with two modes by default normal and locked locked is automatically put into whenever you run like oh sway lock when you have a lock screen pulled up that will inhibit input and then oh the normal is basically your standard input which is basically all the time so if we go down here, they've got a normal and locked. They define the media keys and what all in both normal and locked, so you can use those in brightness and what all. What I've done here is I've added some of my own keys. So D menu does run. It'll use um, X Wayland to display it. 
it's because for some reason I haven't gotten BE menu to work. So that's one thing. And what it lets you do is actually define your own modes. So I've got a browser and a file manager mode. So much like my SXHKD config, I go into browser mode and then press another key without the modifier and I can pull up a web browser or go into file manager mode, pull it up, and then I have to escape to get out of those modes back in normal mode, which there should be a way that I can like string it together so it goes back automatically, but I haven't done that. Of course, they've got your border cult definitions and what all, and then I've got an auto start file that I still have to work through and figure out. But yeah, so, That's, and then if we look at my Hyperland O configuration, I've defined both of my monitors here. So what Hyperland actually does is, like I said, it's once you save the configuration, it reloads it automatically. So you don't have to think about it. So like when you redefine a key, you can pull up your O configuration and... What's the word? You can pull it up, change a key, and then it'll automatically reload it. So if you don't have a key that does lets you access something, you can add it and then be able to use it after you save. So I've redefined some of them here. There are some programs that I don't have in here that obviously I probably should. But yeah, I haven't gotten around to doing that because... I've only messed around with it a little bit. Um, there's still some things that I have to mess around with in it. But yeah, Hyperland and River are basically two of the ones that I've mostly played with. River's the more configured one than Hyperland. Because I kind of really like my tags. But I know a lot of people have said that NVIDIA graphics cards have had issues. And I can kind of see why. Because some things don't quite work on an Optimus laptop. But... So that's basically what I've been messing around with in Wayland. And other than my ThinkPad, I know I'm going to run into issues with NVIDIA, but I haven't run into too many as of yet. And I'm still experimenting with things in it. So yeah, if you've got any suggestions on like how to get it working or places that I can go to to get it to work out or like suggestions on other things that I can try out, then let me know and join the D Discord, Matrix, or what have you that are linked in the description. And yeah, let me know that or comment, and I will see you guys later.